It's New Year's in New Orleans. The festivities and the food, all the delight. But UConn hoping Daniel Hamilton saved his feast for the court. One of the best players in the American Conference for the Huskies. We welcome you to New Orleans and the campus of Tulane University inside Devlin Fieldhouse. Tonight it's the Green Wave looking for a big conference win. As they and they are set to go here in the American. Green Wave have it first, Pete. Sophomore who's fifth in the conference. And first in assists, the alley-oop. Sean Miller throws it down. He's got to play well for them to have any chance this evening. They left Sean Miller all alone. Pete, I don't care if it's you or me who's down at the block. You can't leave a guy who's 6'7 alone. Oh, great. 51% from the field and 45% from three-point land. It's outstanding. Gibbs a good three-point shooter as well, and he puts in his first bucket. Yeah. Second team all beat. Both teams cold on offense. Facey back in. Right-handed shot over Blake Paul, and it rattles home on a four-point lead. Washington graduate transfer back home. Hamilton the leaner, and it's sweet. He's tough to get wherever he wants to go. Omar Calhoun. Terrific shooter in Brooklyn, New York. With the step back, and that's a big shot. Big shot, they needed that. It's a game off the bench. And there with the defensive play. Calhoun's got Gibbs with him, he takes it himself. Couple of big plays from home two points tonight for Hamilton. Purvis trying to find his shot and does. Rodney Purvis. Empty trip for Sterling Gibbs. What a giveaway. Jalen Adams, pesky, and UConn an opportunity. And Osikowski wipes it away. Hamilton left alone for three. Loose ball, it's important. And take care of the basketball. Trying to get it to six, left it short. He's one of six on the night. Purvis wide open for three. And immediately a timeout taken by Ed Conroy. In transition, Ryan Smith got the start tonight. He's got four points. That's Purvis. He's got the hot hand. Wow. He's something. Andy Purvis. That's Kane Harris way off the mark. And fast break again. It's Purvis out in transition. And the foul. Rodney Purvis lighting up. He started rolling. First four or five minutes of the second half is key in any game now. Who's going to grab the game by the throat? You've got started the first half with Sean Miller. It's Starting centers back in, playing the two-man game with Gibbs. It's Purvis, still hot in the second half. Lefty jumper. Purvis tips it out to Sterling Gibbs. Hamilton left alone, and this lead has ballooned to 16. But they got to start it with their defense and get a defensive rebound. Enoch to the lefty hook. That was not a first thing, but never, never sure when those three or four minutes are going to come. That's always their problem. Miller left alone for three. UConn five of five from the floor here in the half and a 19 point lead. Timeout taken by Tulane. They're in a heat. Hamilton trying to work on Jerome. Great floater. It's one of his best shots. Passed up the open look. Gibbs, he knocks in the three. Big time shot from Sterling Gibbs. Gibbs shot 43 for Steve Purvis. Get him the ball. I would run a play for him. Ooh. Gibbs left alone for three. Sterling Gibbs with the answer. He's got nine. Purvis, that was a set play for him. Four to shoot, Gibbs hoists and hits from way downtown. We're Stur under a minute to go. Purvis the floater. Harris misses, and that'll do it. 75-67, UConn improves to 10 and three. Kevin Ali's team escapes New Orleans with a victory. Ed Conroy's squad falls to seven and eight.